Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm bringing you my top 10 nutrition tips guaranteed to help you lose weight and gain muscle mass. So this is another part to the Mom Fitness Files. I will leave a link in the description box for the playlist. If you've missed the other ones, you should definitely go and check them out. I think that these tips will help anybody out there, especially women and moms who are looking to lose weight or gain muscle. So these are my personal 10 um, tips. I follow all of these myself and I've seen them help numerous other women out there. So I'm just going to get right into this video. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. And please give this video a thumbs up if any of these tips helped you or um, you agree with them. If you have a fitness tip, I would love to make this kind of a community of where everyone is sharing different things that I don't cover. Leave it in the comments below. I would love to to know. Okay, so my top 10 nutrition tips for weight loss or muscle building. Okay, so they kind of go together. Some are a little bit more toward muscle gain, but also with weight loss as well. Okay, so the first one, a minimum of 100 ounces of water each day, if not more. Okay, tip number one. Number two, keep some snacks in your purse. Put a protein bar in there, put a baggie of almonds. Um, if you know you're gonna be out for a long amount of time, load your purse up because the more you work out, the more your metabolism is gonna be revved. And when you are hungry, you do not wanna get into that low blood sugar crashing phase because that's when suddenly those golden arches that you drive by as you're out and about start to look really appealing. So keep your blood sugar level by keeping snacks in your purse. Um, tip number three, make sure if you're exercising, and I don't care if it's cardio, running, weightlifting, whatever you're doing, crossfitting, whatever you're doing, drink a protein shake within 30 minutes of finishing that workout, okay? Your body is looking for all types of nutrients to start the replenishing phase after you've completed a workout. Starving your body is about the worst thing that you can do. It's very contra and like goes against totally everything that you just did. You need food to fuel your muscles. And so protein, I recommend Quest Protein, and no, I'm not sponsored, I just really like it. You don't want anything high in sugar, you don't want anything with a lot of artificial ingredients. So look for a clean protein, take it, drink it after every workout you do. Number four, don't drink your calories. I'm talking about frappuccinos, I'm talking about sugary lattes, I'm talking about wine, I'm talking about beer, I'm talking about iced tea, I'm definitely talking about soda. So don't drink your calories. That's such an easy way to eliminate calories off your day. And when you're working out, you want more food, you're hungry. So save your calories for food. Now I'm not saying don't ever get a, a yummy latte or don't ever drink some wine. I'm just saying on the day to day, don't consume your calories through liquid. Um, tip number five, just increase your protein overall. I don't care if you're cardio um, junkie and you love running every single day and that's all you do, uh, or if you're a weightlifter, you definitely need more protein. So just increase it. Whatever you're consuming now, just more protein, straight protein, chicken, eggs, um, egg whites, Greek yogurt, just straight protein, increase Wherever you're at now, add more. It will not hurt you. Um, number six, meal plan and prep. And I could probably do a whole video series on this. Maybe I will. If you want me to, let me know in the comments. Um, but basically what I'm saying is sit down, depending on how you grocery shop and what how your family system works. For me, I do two weeks of my dinners at a time. I sit with my planner so I know what nights I need a crock pot meal on. I know basically what meals are going to go where. I go to the store one time, I buy everything I need for all of that stuff, and then I'm good for two weeks. When I'm talking about prep, there's a lot of people who meal prep like crazy. I'm not one of those people. The meal that I prep is my lunch. I usually will make a week's 
uh, worth of lunches on a Sunday or a Saturday, depending, um, because I, as a homeschooling mom and personal trainer, just do not have time to make myself a fully well-rounded meal in the middle of the day, and I need it. So I definitely plan those ahead. So. If you're not a meal planner or prepper at all, maybe you could just start with having sliced veggies in your fridge for the week. Or maybe you could just start by grilling up some extra chicken and keeping it ready for you to eat. Those are some of my suggestions, but you definitely will lose weight and you will gain muscle if you meal plan and prep. Number seven, do not eliminate total food groups from your diet, okay? Don't get rid of carbs altogether. Don't get rid of uh, you know, healthy fats all together. Don't do something really crazy and not eat any protein. Like keep all the food groups that that pyramid that you learned about in school um, taught you. It's it, we definitely need food from all sources. OK, um, number eight. Don't go longer than three hours between eating. So breakfast, snack, lunch, snack dinner, snack. Don't go longer than three hours without eating unless you're sleeping. Um, you want to keep your metabolism high functioning. That's the number one way to do it. If you go really long periods of uh, time between eating, your body is storing more fat, waiting for its next meal. You want to keep your body fully functioning like the machine that it is. You need to be eating every three hours. And I'm not saying eat a huge meal. I'm saying eat a, a meal and then a small snack and then, you know, throughout the day. Number nine for my nutritional tips for weight loss and strength training is to look for easy swaps. Um, I'm not going to go into all of them, but there's tons of them. When you're baking, use applesauce in your um, whatever you're baking. Use coconut oil instead of um, canola oil. Use... Uh, Greek yogurt instead of sour cream. Um, there's tons of them. So just look for ways to incorporate more nutritional things into the food that you're eating. And number 10, my last tip for you guys today is to just understand food a little bit more. It doesn't hurt any of us to educate ourselves. We are never too old to learn something new. Um, we're never too old to learn something that goes against the way we were raised. Uh, science has advanced. There's lots of new information out there all the time. And so it's important to understand how food works in your body. Do you know what a carb does for your body? Do you know what protein does for your body? Do you know what not having enough healthy fats affects in your body, your adrenal glands, all those things. Do you understand food? If the answer is no, and for a lot of people it probably is, just read up on that. Google that question. Just understand food a little bit more. Understand what foods are complex carbohydrates. Understand what a straight protein source is. Those are the kinds of things I'm talking about. Just so you understand when you're eating, you might think that you're eating protein when in fact your body is breaking that food down like a carbohydrate. Um, so you definitely want to just have an overall better knowledge. We can never learn it all, of course, but just understand what food is doing in your body and you'll become more educated, you'll understand how food is helping you, and it'll just overall make you healthier and fitter. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Those are my top 10 nutritional tips that I follow every single one of those myself for weight loss and muscle gaining as women. I hope this video helps you out there, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.